In this video, I'll show you how to capture multiple separate variables using a single prompt. The first step here is to decide what information we want to capture. For this example, I'll be capturing my user's name, their email address, and their height. To begin with, in a regular node, I'll start with a raw input capture card. This is the card that is going to collect all of my user's information. Now, below it, I'll place individual cards for each of the items I want to collect. So remember, that was their name, their email address, and their height. Now, let's create a custom prompt that's going to ask our user for these three pieces of information. In this field over here, in the raw input capture card, I'll ask my user the following question. Can I have your name, your email, and your height? By minimizing the amount of time our user has to spend in a back and forth with our bot, we're improving the experience by improving our conversation design. Now, we need a way to tell our bot to take all of this information from that one question that we asked our user. In the advanced configuration menu on each of these cards here, I'm going to click into it, select extract from history, and raise this number up to one. What we're telling our bot to do is search up to one previous message that our user has sent into our bot to extract this information from. So what's going to happen here is when our user responds to this raw input card, that information will be stored in their name, their email address, and their height. Now that we've set everything up, let's test it out. At the end of this node, I'll place a simple card that contains each of these variables. I'll say, your name is workflow.name.first, just to grab that first name. Your height is workflow.height.value, to grab the actual value, which we collect in meters. So I'll say, your height is this number meters and your email is at workflow.email. Great. Now let's head over to the emulator and give it a try. If I say hi, I get prompted for this information. So I'll say, my name is Robert Soup. My email is soup at gmail.com and I'm 1.73 meters tall. Now, even though this was written in natural language, my bot is able to process that information and save it to those variables. You can see here in the emulator that it correctly captured the variables name, email, and height, and was able to spit them back out to me. Very cool. Happy bot building.